Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Out this week is Mary Shelley, Monster Hunter number five from Aftershock Comics. Now, this is a pretty interesting series. The concept is basically what if Mary Shelley was telling the truth that there's really monsters out there that things like Bram Stoker's Dracula was based on real experiences, that Frankenstein was based on real experiences. Uh, and it's a really kind of fun alternative history series. This is one that, uh, something that Adam Glass, who's one of the creators behind this, is really good at. And he's done some, uh, some other stuff. So, uh, the series is by, as I said, Adam Glass, co-created with Olivia Cortero Briggs, with art by Hayden Sherman. Uh, and I'll be honest, uh, I have not read the first four issues. This is, I came in wanting to see what would happen if I read the fifth issue straight up, and believe it or not, the fifth issue here is a fantastic starting point. It's actually really, really solid and easy to jump into this series. Now, you're not going to necessarily know everything or totally understand everything, but it works. It totally works, and it's entertaining, and it's to a point of entertainment that I want to go and read the first four issues. Uh, so the story is, uh, is Mary Shelley after she dealt with Frankenstein and uh, and some other stuff, and, and she's getting married, and she's trying to sell her book, and she's writing it as like, you know, hey, this is real life, this is the real world, and they're like, no, 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 no one's going to buy that, and she go rewrite it as like, as, uh, uh, and kind of change the, the narrator a little bit, uh, and then the, the story kind of shifts towards the end, and it gets me even more intrigued, but it's her reflecting of like, you know, how do you get the word out about this, are there more terrors, uh, Lord Byron is part of it, as I said, uh, Bob Brown Stroker is part of it, like, it's really, really a, a cool version of, uh, of history, alternate history, uh, weird history, whatever you want to call it, uh, as far as the genre. Uh, I like it, I really like it, and for those who might have read my reviews from way back in the day, it's, it's stuff where of like, that uh, uh, series that like really reference um, um, literature like tend to go over my head. Like I, I admit, I'm not a big prose reader, so like series like Unwritten was never my thing. But this seems to uh, take that history and twist it just enough, and to the point that you know if you know the basics of it, you're gonna like it. That you don't necessarily need to know the deep dive about Frankenstein or or Dracula or, or who Lord Byron is and stuff like that. You you can appreciate the story. Uh, and if you know that stuff, you're going to appreciate it even more. The, the narrative's really cool. Uh, it's Mary Shelley's talking, and it's kind of, uh, the dialogue is in of that time. Like, I don't know how accurate it is, but it felt of that time, which is pretty cool. Like, I, I like that. I dig that. Um, and, and the art is solid. You can see here the Battle of Frankenstein, um, and, and uh, everyone kind of fighting out with that. I, I like the art style. It's different. Um, you know, if you, you may or may not like it, but I, I enjoy it. There's, uh, there's something about it that I think is decent. Um, you know, does it blow me away? Absolutely not, but it, it kind of fits the style of the comic. Like, I don't know quite how to put it, but it feels very appropriate for, uh, the horror series, but also kind of like this Victorian horror stare series and, uh, kind of told in a flashback sort of way. It's, it's, it's intriguing. The whole thing is really intriguing. So as I said, like, I dove into this fifth issue, and I really enjoyed it and want to go check out the first four. So uh, for me, who's not a big prose reader, wants me, it wants, I want to go and read more about Mary Shelley. Like, I think that says something about the enjoyment of this that I uh, want to dive more into. And I, I was, you know, Googling on Wiki. Uh, I was, you know, Googling who these people are just to make sure I was kind of caught up and, and knew everything and I wasn't missing things. And, um, you know, just knowing the basics totally got me through this. So cool art, cool story, nice alternate history, really dig it, highly recommend it. And this is an issue you can start with and, and fully enjoy it. And hopefully it'll get you want to go check out the rest. It's out in comic shops today. Uh, out now, you can go use the link underneath this video to go find your local comic book shop. Um, you know, if you do not have a shop near you, we've got some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that you help support our site. But you really should go support your comic shop. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock, who hooked us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Mary Shelley, Monster Hunter, hopefully we'll have more coming down the road. You check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. If you want more of Aftershock, comics in general, all about graphicpolicy.com. Of course, find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep fighting those monsters, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.